Good morning. Hope you're well. In uh, in the same way that we that we develop any skill that that we may have, we we need to remember it's really important to to take time to have the you know the same discipline and focus on on our faith skills. And you know while we're active participants in in choosing to to live and and to act out these skills, we we don't do it on our own. You know, we know that we, we have a helper, the, the Holy Spirit, giving us the, the strength that we, we need day to day. You know, these the, the skills are, are not for the, the faint of heart, really. You know, the, there's times when we're, when we're tested, you know, and, and it takes the, the power of God, you know, for, for us to display something that we may need in that time, you know, humility or, or peace. And in order for us to, to grow strong and, and well-rounded in, in these faith skills, we, we have to be willing to admit our weaknesses and, and confess them to God. And uh, the, the skills that we're talking about, you know, are, are courage, you know, discipline, endurance, gratitude, hope, humility, joy, kindness, love, peace, patience, perseverance, and, you know, 1 John 3 verses 9 to 10 says it. It says, No one born of God makes a practice of sinning. For God's seed abides in him and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God nor is the one who does not love his brother. And and if we're if we're God's children, you know, we're reminded here that we'll we'll practice righteousness. You know, and, and I think it's significant that the word practice is used here. You know, we, we don't get it right all the time. And it's a, it's a lifelong thing, a lifelong challenge and a process of of sanctification. You know, we with age time you know and we, with god's help we, we mature and we will better understand how to live righteous lives and to put into practice the the lifestyle that that as jesus followers that that we should and and in 2 corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 it says therefore if anyone is in christ he's a new creation the old has passed away and behold the new has come we'll know those verses well i'm sure and when we accept Jesus, you know, we, we become new, born again. The old is gone and the, the new is here. And as we uh, allow the, the Holy Spirit to guide us, as we read God's word, spend more time in his presence, we, we become more like Jesus. And we, we need God to be doing that work in us. You know, the, the verse that, again, you'll know and remember is, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. By that testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. That's from Romans 12, verse two. And as, as we practice these skills, we become stronger because God is the, God is the one that, that's redeeming different areas of our lives. You know, he's changing our lives bit by bit as we allow him to. And as we get to know him and spend time in his word, he, he transforms our minds. For sure, making us even more sensitive to the opportunities around us so that we can practice further being followers of Jesus. And it's it's mind-blowing to me that, that God uses us to, to further his kingdom, to serve others, to, to be a light in a, in a dark place. But he does. So today, remember the the amazing power that's within you, and look for ways to to use the gifts that God's given you. God bless you. Have a great day.